Hey folks, this is a stock market update. In this video, we will cover some major indices, S&P 500, Nasdaq 100, Dow Jones Industrials, Futures, and Small Cap Russell, TLT, and Gold. Welcome to Take It Easy Trading, your channel to get stock market update by views on macroeconomy, stock and index chart analysis. Please like, comment, and if you want to get notified of new content, Please subscribe, it's free. Let's begin. Topics for today's video. My thoughts on the market, earnings, consumer confidence. Then we look at the charts for SPY, SPX, ES Futures, Triple Qs, NASDAQ, Dow Jones, Small Cap Russell. Then we look at bonds, dollar index, yield curve getting deeper into the inversion, and gold. Let's move on to the coverage of the stock market and we begin with the closing of the indices today and here we go. We had an early Santa rally across the board. The Dow Jones Industrial Average up by 526 points or a gain of 1.6%. The S&P 500 up by 56 points or a gain of 1.49%. Likewise, the Nasdaq up by 162 points or a gain of 1.5%. VIX closed today at 20.07 down 6.5% and dollar index closed at 103.9. Is this the early Santa rally? Santa rally is typically the last five days of the year and the first two days of the new year. So if this meek rally fizzles out, can't gain momentum, and then we are looking at a wave three coming down next week or following week and it's going to be very fast and very severe we'll look at them in more depth in the chart analysis when it comes to the heat map today pretty much green across the board notable is tesla which couldn't get a bit today looking at the last five days of performance we are in deep red even after today's rally. Apple down almost 5.42%, Amazon down 5.25%, Microsoft down 4.97%, and Tesla is down 12% in the last five days. And the majority of the green is around the energy stocks which are keeping up with the pace around crude oil surge as the dollar is still weak. Let's look at some of the earnings we had this week. Nike tops Q2 EPS by 20 cents and beat the revenues. And Nike said their inventory is down year over year and that popped up that stock. FedEx topped the EPS but the revenues missed. They also gave lower guidance seeing FI 2023 EPS 13 to 14 dollars versus the consensus of north of 14 dollars. FedEx also said they're going to be cutting cost by almost a billion dollars than the investors like that. And US Consumer Confidence Index increased in December following back-to-back -back monthly gains. The expectations were at 101.4, but it came in at higher 108.3. And the present situation index also came in higher than expected at 147.2. The expectation index for the next month, based on consumer short-term outlook for income, business, and labor market condition, improved to 82.4 from 76.7. Expectations are still lingering around 80 level, which is associated with the recession. So the U.S. consumer is so strong, which bodes well for the holiday spending. What will happen to the inflation, which means the Fed has to keep their foot on the pedal for longer than expected. Micron released the earnings at the end of the day and they also topped the EPS but missed on the revenue guidance. Now they expect a loss of 72 to 52 cents versus the consensus of loss of 30 cents 
also they guided down the revenue for q2 3.6 to 4 billion versus the consensus of 3.75 billion now carnival also topped the eps but missed on the top line revenue so all of them gained today fedex raising by 5.6 points 3.43 percentage and nike gained 12.5 points or 12.18 percent micron is down slightly after hours and carnival gaining 4.6 percent and now let's look at some charts and technical analysis let's look at the market internals advancing declining issues weeks this is a chart of advancing issues we had a very positive thrust today 2406 issues advanced and the chart kind of uh, we had a gap up today and then kind of fizzled out at the end of the day and the stochastic rsi is almost at the end of the downturn and we are seeing a divergence in the stochastic slow maybe a slight uh, downturn and then should pick it up tomorrow let's look at uh, declining issues we were at 729 and we had a continuous increase in the declining issues after the open and uh, looks like the stochastic is uh, getting some momentum so the next up uh, is this is the, the difference between advance and declining so the positive 1677 uh, this is a very good chart for trading when you see it gap up and then keep going up that's a pretty good sign that the market is going to find new highs and then later in the day <clears throat> when spx is going and making new highs but it was not confirmed in the market breadth so hence we saw a cool off uh, at the end of the day this is the vix futures and pretty much similar story to vix uh, coming down slightly uh, since the beginning of the day and looking at uh, the indicators we are pretty much at the bearish side of uh, VIX continue to go down which may support the market going up this is VIX VIX closed at 20.07 down 6% and you can see in the stochastic slow kind of uh, negative momentum and even in the momentum oscillator it's at the bearish side of the momentum we may be uh, getting another low maybe quick test of 19 area and then see if it can break above 20 again spice this is the spx chart uh, we had a gap up today and we tried to close the bear gap above at 38.93 and we came very close 38.91 we didn't close the gap so it kind of suggests that either we will thrust past it and maybe try to test the bigger gap we had around 39.60 to 4000 uh, that will also coincide with the 61.8 percent uh, stochastic uh, Fibonacci level we also have another big uh, gap uh, up at the bottom so we came in half of that gap we didn't fully close that gap uh, that's around 37.73 this is the daily chart and you can see we are pretty much uh, into the 23.6 to 38.2 retracement and the gap up above and the daily chart does suggest from the stochastic we are deep into the negative momentum side 
and maybe we can catch up if we can get a couple of good days uh, in the positive side. This is the spiders, uh, similar story as SPX sitting at 23.6 retracement level uh, at 385 and we closed at 386. There may be up level 390 at 38.2% and we may also close the gap above and we have to wait and see there's a 200 period moving average there too and stochastic show we are kind of in the overbought region so we may go sideways until we thrust above. This is the ES futures as at the time of the recording we are up, up around 10 points and you can see we have kind of cleared the previous highs around 38.92 coming down to 38.03 and then now testing 39.20 level. What's going on in the queues? Queues, uh, we kind of stalled at the previous high around 275 and looking at it we're slightly overbought but we should we are just basing around here to get into maybe go and test the 200 day moving average around 278 above that we have the bear gap around 285 to 287. NDX a uh, similar story as uh, QQs and the NQ futures we are uh, well above the 200 and the 20 period moving average kind of supports a continuation of the rally but we may have to base around and clear some of the indicators before we move ahead. Let's look at SMH. SMH almost closed the gap and then the next up is 200 period moving average and the big bear gap above. Let's look at the Dow. The diamonds, uh, we had a pretty good gap up right into the previous gap and we have cleared the previous high and we are just basing below the 200 period moving average and the 20 day moving average and in the stochastics we are a little bit overbought but we can just pace around here, form a bull flag, and then try and take on that big pair gap above. Same story with the Dow Jones Industrial Average. And the futures for Dow, we are up about 70 points. And you can see we are continuing that positive momentum from the stochastics uh, while clearing up the RSI. So that's, uh, that's pretty positive. Let's look at IWM and Russell. IWM, pretty similar story. We closed one gap above and then basing just below 200 and 20 period moving average and slight rollover in the stochastic RXI. So maybe initially slight weakness and then see if we can take it up towards the bear gap. Russell 2000 just below 1800 level. This is the futures and just trying to get into the 1800s and see what happens around 1800. Next up, dollar. The DXY index, the dollar has been uh, showing some weakness and even today we gap down and try to fill the gap and then gave up at the end. The momentum is almost still in the negative side uh, so hopefully that supports the rally if the dollar goes down. Let's look at TLT. Uh, we had a TLT gap down gap down in last Pre, uh, three four sessions and today we gapped up but we couldn't maintain the gains so that's a canary in the coal mine so if TLT is not able to maintain uh, so let's take a look at stochastic slow it's still showing some positive momentum 
so let's see if it can close at least one of these big pair gaps the 30 year yields are 3.74 10 year yields are 3.6 we still have the yield curve inversion pretty deep into negative territory at minus 0.56 and the bond futures you can see we're trying to rally above so which kind of supports the yield curve going down a little bit more let's look at the gold the gld etf so gold has been in going positive in the last couple of sessions and today as well we tried to gap up and then made another high and kind of basing around there so that kind of uh, even the indicators are almost uh, retesting the overbought zone into uh, once we turn positive again we should be able to test 172 on the gld side looking at the gold futures at 1828 right now and we're st still in the bull flag about 200 period moving average and positive momentum all across so this should bold well for the gold futures that's all for this week's update please subscribe like and comment on anything you like me to cover in the next video if you have some tickers you want me to cover please share it in the video thanks for watching